Good evening, everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight is the first edition of Thunder Thursdays. And what we're going to talk about every single week is a given topic, and it is great to start this off on this topic, which is the hottest topic of the week. That is oddball cards. Thanks to John Mangini, thanks to Vintage Oddball Cards, Rick and Orlando from A Collector's Dream. People have been running amok with the whole oddball theme, and are these oddball cards is the magic question of the week. I love collecting stuff that is off the, off the cuff, and stuff that you don't see all the time. Is that oddball? I don't know. I don't really care either way. People like card shows. I go to enough card shows where you go up to a table, half the time they have a whole box labeled oddball cards. It's just become a lingo term that is used in the hobby to kind of differentiate some of the more common stuff that you see like Tops and Bowman from the uh, Hostess cards and what have you. But listen, I get it. Man, Genie has a point. Their cards are cards. At the end of the day, that's the foundation of it all is that we collect cards and it doesn't matter if they're a Hostess card or a Topps card or a Bowman card, a T206, what have you. They are cards. And it is encapsulated in the entire hobby as a giant bubble of vintage. But it's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun to call some, it's fun to kind of uh, pigeonhole stuff sometimes. But, you know... It's a, it's a debate. And so, just for just for yucks, for Thunder Thursdays, I thought I'd ask you guys the question. Is this an oddball card? Is this an oddball card? How about this? Is this an oddball card? Is this Bazooka an oddball card? Is this Journal American an oddball card? How about this... Hires root beer issued maze. Is this an oddball card? Is this an oddball card? The test issue. The transigrams. Is this an oddball card? And finally, the other transigram. Is this an oddball card? I don't mind either way. I just know that if I'm hanging out with, with Mangini, I have to rework my brain so that I don't say it. Because otherwise I'll give him a good chuckle, a good laugh, and he'll get to go into a whole tiffy about why they're not oddball cards. <laughs> it's true, John. You know it. You know it. That conversation would happen. But it's all in good fun. Anyway, that's the hot topic for this first edition of Thunder Thursdays. And love to hear your thoughts. Love to hear your questions. What sort of questions do you have about oddball cards? What sort of thoughts do you have about oddball cards? Let me know in the comments below. And we'll address them next week on the next edition of Thunder... Of <laughs> and we'll address them next week on the next edition of Thunder Thursdays. See you later.